Hello, my name is Will, and today I'm going to be talking about this. Now this is an airsoft gun, so fear not. This is not a real firearm, although it does sort of look like one. It uses this airsoft magazine. The topic of today's conversation is going to be the New York SAFE Act and its primary flaw. And its primary flaw is it's a ban on assault rifles. Now, what is an assault rifle? The SAFE Act identifies an assault rifle as any firearm that possesses two characteristics and then one of the following. So first, it's got to have semi-automatic. So that means every time you pull the trigger, it's going to fire once. If you hold the trigger down, it will just fire once and it will not continue to fire. If it did, it would be a fully automatic firearm, which are illegal. So basically, semi-automatic, pull the trigger, it shoots. It must also have a removable magazine in order to be considered an assault rifle. In New York State, these are only allowed to hold 10 rounds, but that's only if you're at a competition. Every other time, you can only have seven rounds in one of these. Stupid. Now. Those two things are actually pretty common, and many, many guns that feature those things are legal, such as a Ruger 1022, which is a semi automatic 22 with a magazine. Now, if we were to assume for just a moment that this is an AR 15, a real AR 15, it will allow us to show what makes this an assault rifle. So there are a couple key characteristics that make this an assault rifle. The first is that it has a pistol grip. A pistol grip is any type of grip that does not have a stock attached to it. So if the grip comes down and there's no stock coming off of it, it is a pistol grip. And if it has those other two traits, a magazine that is removable and it's semi-automatic, it is le illegal in New York State. If it has an adjustable stock like this one, it is illegal in New York State. If it has a foregrip, such as this one, it is illegal in New York State. If it has a bayonet lug, which would be up here somewhere, it is illegal in New York State. If it has a grenade launcher, it is illegal in New York State. If it has a muzzle brake, which is a device that goes at the end of your barrel to reduce recoil, your gun is illegal in New York State. So firearm owners have been trying to get around this by doing a couple of things. The first thing that oftentimes they do with a New York State legal AR-15 is they get a special stock that essentially comes out of the grip to replace your pistol grip, and then you have to take this device off. You also wouldn't be allowed to have this foregrip because that's also illegal in New York State. Some people will go for a firearm more similar to this, and they will jam this device, which allows you to remove the magazine. And essentially what they're doing by that is they're getting rid of the removable magazine portion of the firearm, thus allowing them to have all these other gadgets on there. So is this a good law? Does it do good? Absolutely not. Here's how they make those laws. They're going to create a large vat of data of all crimes committed, and they're going to say what features consistently come up, what features are on the guns that the criminals are using, and they say, well, they have adjustable stocks on them, so adjustable stocks must be bad. Pistol grips are on guns used by criminals, so pistol grips must be bad. Some of them have four grips. Four grips must be bad, but that doesn't mean anything because just because a criminal uses it doesn't mean it makes the gun any more effective at killing people. This, if this was a real AR-15, would be no more effective at killing people than a New York State legal AR-15. Thus, I conclude that SAFE Act has got to freaking go. Furthermore, if I were to take that Ruger 1022 and assuming that this part was able to be installed on it, it's not, but if th this is a real Magpul handle pistol grip intended for a 
AR-15. If I were to purchase a New York State legal AR-15, I could stick this on it in replacement of the of the stock handle. I could stick this on it, so pistol grip, illegal. And then I could install this. This stock was purchased in an actual firearms dealer. This is a this is designed for an actual AR-15. So I could install that promptly. And because of these two things, it would be completely illegal in New York State, even though both of these parts can literally be purchased online for under $40. So should we keep the SAFE Act? No. The SAFE Act has got to go. It is a worthless piece of legislation that was put together in a couple of hours by somebody with an IQ lower than my credit score.